Hi everyone, my name is Kelly and this is my son Kyle. And on our channel, we've already shared videos of Kyle's morning and bedtime routines. So we thought we'd share a video of our typical life of everything in between. Our morning video left off with me dropping Kyle off to school. Kyle has been attending this school for children with special needs for the last seven years. It's year round with a two and a half week summer break, which is great because our routines are only interrupted for a short time and it's easier for him to get back on track when the school year starts again. We also love it because the student to teacher ratio is four to one, so Kyle gets a lot of one-on-one -on -one instruction and attention. The teachers use ABA therapy, work on his IEP goals, and Kyle also receives speech and occupational therapy during his school day. Meanwhile, I have about five hours to do all the things that I can't do while Kyle is with me, like appointments, errands, and the grocery shopping. Madre got the goods in Target. <laughs> You're funny. Um, so we just got two candles for our patio makeover, and we got one bikini bottom and two bikini tops. Thank you. Once upon a time, long, long ago, I was a middle school math teacher, then worked in finance, then payroll, but I stopped working outside the home three years ago so that I could have a flexible schedule and be available for all of Kyle's care. I still love to create and work, so while Kyle is at school, I stay busy with my at-home business. I have an Etsy shop, so I work on my art and fill orders, teach calligraphy classes online, write blog posts for my website, and also edit these YouTube videos. So we're in the car line waiting for Kyle to come out with his teachers. So I usually get his music playlist pulled up because when we start out with Kyle's music, it usually guarantees a happy ride. So we'll get that going. We'll start with, we are the dinosaurs. Come on in. Come on in. It's hot out here, isn't it? Good one, bud. All right. Just doing his usual thing. <coughs> All right, you ready? She buckled in. You gonna help me? All right. Push the button, bud. Kyle, do you want to go the usual way or different way? Different way? All right. You know where we're going to go today, Kyle? I'm going to take you to the parking garages. You want to go to the parking garages? Yeah, you do? All right. Here we go. But first, me and, me and Kaylee are going to make a little Starbucks stop. Kyle, look, we're going to go in the parking garage. Here you go. <laughs> you love it. We make our rounds. This place has several different parking garages and different levels, so we go in and out. And Kyle thinks it's the best thing ever. <laughs> we got our Starbucks, right, Mother? Yes. Starbucks helps with our... Um, Extended rides with Kyle. <laughs> right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs>
So for the orange lock, we just use a key to unlock it. This is because there's been times where Kyle will undo his seatbelt while we're driving down the interstate and then pull at me while I'm driving to try to put it back on, which I obviously can't, obviously can't do. Okay, push the button. Uh, push your fingers. All closed. What do you want to do? Do you want your tablet? Yes, your tablet. Let's go. Swim bell. Yeah, we're going to go swimming in a little bit. Let's get all our stuff put away and get ready and we'll go swim. Got it? You want to close the garage door for me? Ah. I think he wants me to sing. You want me to sing? All right, let's go. Hush, little Kyle, don't say a word. Mama's going to a mockingbird, and if that mockingbird won't see, Mama's going to find a What's our name? Kyle! Oh, here! Hey, buddy! Are we going to go swimming? I told him we're going to put all our stuff away and get ready. I'll get your tablet, buddy. Hey, buddy! So after a long morning at school, I don't mind him. Spend some time on his tablet while I put all of our stuff away, and then we're gonna go swim. Take my time. Here's the tablet. And then... <laughs> all right. So then I put all of our kind of stuff away. So we get his talker back out, and we always set it up here. He always knows this story comes to tell us things. And then I look to see if the teacher left any notes about his day. He had a good day, cried for one minute, but besides that, he did good teacher time. All right. And then we get his drink out. Put that away. Guy, oh, it's pool time. Let's go swimming. Can you get your swim belt before you push the button? No, no, no. Get your swim belt first. Now push the button. Thank you. Get dad. <laughs> what are you gonna have him do? You're gonna dunk him? <laughs> dinner while Kyle is playing on his tablet, my husband Jesse and I work out in our garage together. Daily exercise was never in my routine until about five years ago when we decided to make exercise something we could do and enjoy together. We have worked out in gyms before, but because of our schedules and not having care for Kyle, we set up our own home gym in the garage. After we work out, I make dinner and Jesse, Kaylee, and I sit down to eat together. One of my favorite memories growing up is sitting around the dinner table with my parents and sister every evening. I always knew I would want to continue that when I have my own family. So for the longest time, we had Kyle sit at the dinner table with us. But because of his needs, dinner time was frustrating and stressful the majority of the time. All of our energy and focus had to be on feeding Kyle and keeping him happy. So we were not able to talk to our daughter or share stories about our day or eat in peace. We finally decided to feed Kyle separately after we ate, and it works out the best for every one of us. While Kaylee and either me or Jesse clean up the dishes from our meal, one of us will feed Kyle. First, we give him a medication for his EOE, 
which stands for eosinophilic esophagitis, which is a chronic disease of the esophagus and causes inflammation and difficulty swallowing. The medication helps with the inflammation, and when the meals aren't soft enough, we'll puree them so Kyle doesn't have any difficulty eating. I cook an ultra low carb meal five to six times per week since Kyle is on the ketogenic diet for his epilepsy. As a family, we've been eating low carb meals for years now, and I'll link my Pinterest account below where I've pinned some of our favorite keto meals. Some more? More? Okay. You want to do it? You want to do it? I'll do it. There you go. Good job. dinner, we'll have about an hour or so to relax before we start Kyle's bedtime routine, which we have already shared on our channel and I'll link to that below. I'm often asked by curious friends and family what our life is like day to day. This video was an attempt to show a typical day, but as I worked on editing it, I thought about all of the difficult moments and emotions that I can't capture on video. Most of the time, our days run smoothly as long as we stick to routines and incorporate things Kyle likes into our day, but there are days that don't go so well. Kyle may have more seizures than typical, or we have doctor appointments, or he's demanding and his behavior is not so easy to handle. Sometimes I have bad days where caregiving feels heavy and never ending and I just want a break, and the thoughts of Kyle's future weigh heavy on my mind. So I am thankful for the easy days, relatively speaking, and moments where Kyle is happy and we feel relaxed like you see in this video. And that's why we make these videos, to show what our life is like living with multiple disabilities and to help other families like ours feel less alone. Can you say bye? Can you say bye to the camera? Bye, that's right.